Ba da 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 ba ba da do 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 do. Oh, huh, sorry, I didn't see you there. What? I I have something on my bed. Oh no, that's not right. My bed. I have something on my head. I do. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh! What? 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 I found it. Oh, I found it. That's the sight word that we're working on today. Oh, we should write with this sight word. I T I T I T. Oh, I I I had a great idea. Let's write with it. <laughs> let's write with it. Come on, let's go. I have my sight word. I have my journal. And I'm going to make sure that I have all of the things I need to do my five-star writing. I need to remember that I need a capital at the beginning. I also need to have finger spaces. Oh, punctuation at the end. I need to have neat handwriting. And does it make sense? So I have my red yellow and green crayon and my pencil and I am ready. Are you ready boys and girls? Make sure you get ready. Here we go. So we are going to make a sentence out of this sight word right here. Now I am not going to give you the words. No, 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 no. We are going to think of a sentence and then we are going to spell it. Now if you want to try and write, write your own sentence today with this word it, you can go do that now. Try it and then come back and see what I did and we can compare, okay? But if you want a little bit of extra help, then you can just do it right along with me. Okay, so what I'm going to say is, I think I'm going to start with this word, it, right over here, and I'm going to say, it is very hot today. That's a pretty good sentence. I might even add another sentence to it. Okay, so here we go. It is very hot today. It. Now, remember, when we start at the beginning, our five-star writing says we have to start with a capital. So we need to make this a capital I and a lowercase t, okay? So it, finger space, it is, we know that one because that is a sight word, I-S, it is, finger space, very. Now, that's a little bit of a tricky word, so I can help you spell it. Very, v, v, there, there's an R in there. And sometimes Y can make that E sound at the end. So that's how you spell very. It is very, finger space, hot. So when I'm thinking of how to spell a word, I just listen to that sound that I hear at the beginning. I hear an H. Ah, well, I hear an O. Hot, I hear a T at the end. Oh, there we go, hot. It is very hot. Hmm. Let's see if I do a finger space. Am I going to be able to fit today in here? Let me see. T -O. Nope. I would have a word waterfall. So I need to come down here to this next line. So the next word is today. This is a good word for kindergartners to know. It's spelled like this. T O two. And then day D a y just like that today okay so let's see if it makes sense it is very hot today yep and that is a telling sentence so i'm going to put a period now i guess i could go a little lower with my y's these these papers make it a little hard to do a digger down deep inside but you know we'll do our best all right, now let's go, oh, my words are all mixed up. Let's go back and check to see if we did everything we did to make sure we get five stars today. Capital at the beginning for, oh, yep, let's make it green for go. So I did a capital. Instead of doing lowercase, I did a capital. I used my sight word it, okay? It is very hot today. Oh, and my telling sentence says I have to have a period at the end for stop, green for go, red for stop. Good job. Oh, and I need to make sure that my words are spaced properly so that I don't smush them together. Okay, so I've got a space there. Yep. 
I have a space there and I have a space there. All of my words are separated. I can put one here if I want to, but I don't have to. Okay, you can put one there if you'd like as well. All right, and then I just have to look to see if I wrote neatly. And it looks like I did. It looks like all of my letters that should be under the bumpy line are, except for some that have to have a little tall piece. Okay, it looks pretty good. And it says, is it, oh, it is. <laughs> I said this one first, let's try it again. It is very hot today. Yeah, it is very hot today. And definitely it is. If you went outside today, you would agree with me. Okay, so then I can draw a picture of this or I could add another sentence, okay? So if you wanna stop right here, go ahead and stop, draw a picture, okay? Um, if you wanna do another sentence with me or maybe make your own, let's go ahead and try and see if we can do one more because we are getting to be pretty good writers. So doing two sentences would actually be a really good idea if you want a little bit of a challenge. So I think I'm going to say, it is also very sunny. So I'm gonna use some of these same words and I'm going to say it, because I wanna use that word again. So I'm gonna do a capital I because this is the beginning of a sentence. I, T for it, but I have not a lowercase, but an uppercase because this is the beginning of a sentence. This is go, okay? It, remember I said you can do the green right at the beginning if you want, or you can do it after. So I did it right at the beginning this time. It is, I, S, look, I used that word again. I could say it is very sunny, but I'm going to say it is also very sunny because I'm saying that it is hot and I can say it is also. Do you remember how to spell that word? I taught you one day. Also is spelled like this, A, L, S, O. It's one of those funny words, but we, we use it a lot in writing. So I think it's a good one to learn. Also, it is also very, I want to use that word again. Well, look, my Y is going to be really smushed down here because they didn't leave me much room. Goodness gracious. Well, we'll do our best. Very, it is also very sunny. Uh, now, did you know sunny has two ends? Yeah. Those two ends make one end sound. N. And then, oh, we've got that Y at the end that makes that E. Very sunny. Hm, yep, sometimes Y says E at the end. Kind of silly. And this is a telling sentence, so I want a period, and I'm going to make it red for stop. Let's go back, make sure we have all of our finger spaces. Yep, separate those two words. Separate those two words. I'm going to leave that one blank and separate these two words. Yeah, oh, I did a good job with that. Okay, now, before I do my picture, I am going to check off to see if I did my five-star writing. It is very hot today. It is also very sunny. Oh, I like it. Okay, so I have my green for go, my capitals at the beginning. Good job, Mrs. Schmidt, giving myself a pat on the back. I have my red period, my punctuation at the end, check, check. So if you have your capitals and your periods, go ahead and give yourself two checks, okay? I also have my finger spaces. If you have your finger spaces, give yourself another check. If your writing is neat, like mine is, go ahead and give yourself another check. Well, good job. And lastly, it does make sense. We read it and it makes a lot of sense. It is very hot today. It is also very sunny. Yep, that makes sense. So I'm gonna give myself another check right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go draw a picture that shows how hot it is today. If you did a different sentence, you can draw a picture of your sentence. I would love to see what you wrote. And I'll be back in a second. And here's my picture. I had to have a sun because the sun makes things very hot. And then this little guy right here, he's raking up some leaves. He's working outside in the hot, hot sun. And look, he has sweat whoop, 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 dripping off of his body. <laughs> and he's trying to work outside, but he's so hot. See, he has his tongue hanging out. <sighs> he's so hot. So I thought that was pretty good to fit what I wrote, that it's very hot today. It's also very sunny. Yeah. I'd love to see what you wrote. Good job today, boys and girls.